Hello, I'm John Pickering. I'm the head zookeeper here at Subby Hall and Garden Zoo and today I'm going to talk to you about alpacas. Now alpacas belong to the family of animals known as camelids. Now there are four species of New World camelid. You have the guanaco and the vicuna that are wild and then you have the llama and the alpaca that are domesticated. Now llamas were domesticated from the wild guanaco and alpacas were domesticated from the wild vicuna. And here we've got our two alpacas, Fudge and Brownie. Now, alpacas were domesticated thousands of years ago. They're originally from South America, where they graze the level heights in the Andes. Now, these guys were originally found in Peru and Western Bolivia. Now, alpacas, like other camelids, have a three-chambered stomach, and this helps them digest their food efficiently. And in the wild, they eat grass and other plants. What we feed them on here is they have the grazing in the paddock and then we supplement their diet with hay and they also get a concentrate specifically created for camelids. Now they're known as induced ovulators. This means that in the presence of a male they will come into season and they can breed all year round. Now they have a gestation period of just over 11 months after which time they give birth to one offspring, sometimes twins but twins are rare. Uh, the one offspring and baby alpacas are known as a Korea. Now the baby alpaca or Korea can stand normally within 30 to 90 minutes after being born. And they would stay with their mother and they are uh, weaned at six to eight months of age. Now they were domesticated thousands of years ago for their fiber. The fiber is very similar to sheep's wool and it is used to make a variety of different items such as clothing, other items such as blankets and rugs. One of the most common questions we get asked about the alpacas is how you can tell the difference between llamas and alpacas. Well there is a size difference, llamas are bigger, but one of the main ways you can tell the difference is llamas have banana shaped ears. So we say, remember the phrase, llama banana. Now alpacas have a lifespan of 15 to 20 years. And these two guys came to us back in 2013 and they're known as Fudge and Brownie. 